Dear all, in this video, we are going to cover D flip flop in Verilog programming. The problem statement is that we have to design and verify the operation of D flip flops using logic gates. In first half of the video, I will be discussing the diagram, truth table, and the logic expression of D flip flop, and we will also be deriving the truth table from the diagram. In second half of the video, I will be discussing the code for the same and running it in the command prompt using iVerilog and we will be visualizing the time wave using GTK wave. In the first figure we can see that there is a single input named D and that D is being replicated to S and R using the NAND gate and then the final value is being calculated based on the circuit. So in SR flip-flop there were four states first state was no change second state was reset third state was set the fourth state was indeterminate state to reduce the number of states we came up with the D flip-flop in D flip-flop it can be seen that when clock signal is 1 the data is passed through the circuit and Q1 plus 1 is same as the value of T so the logic expression is q1 plus 1 equal to d. d flip-flop is also known as transparent flip-flop. In the first figure we can see that when d is equal to 0, how the value of q1 plus 1 is calculated. When d is equal to 0, s equal to 0, r equal to 1. Then in the middle, the s0 is converted to 1 because of NAND gate with the clock and r equal to 1 is converted to 0 because of NAND gate with the clock. So the final value of q1 plus 1 is 0 and q1 plus 1 bar is 1. So in case of t equal to 0, q1 plus 1 is 0. Similarly for value d equal to 1, the final value q1 plus 1 is 1 and q1 plus 1 bar is 0. When final output is 0, it is called reset state and when final output is 1 it is called set state now let's move to the coding and implementation part there are two modules first module is module D flip-flop and the second module is module simulate in first module there are four arguments being passed clock D and Q small n are the three input variables and Q capital N is the next state output variable assign qn equal to clock into d this means that we are using the truth table and we want to calculate the next state based on this expression in the second module named simulate the main calculation is being done here registers clock d and qn are the three input registers and qn wire is the output variable carrying value D flip-flop OBJ. OBJ is the object of the module D flip-flop having four arguments. Dump file DFF.VCD is value change dump file which will be storing the changing values of all the variables. Dump wires 0 comma simulate means in the module simulate all the variables will be monitored. Line 14 and 15 display statements are simply printing the string as it is. In line 16 monitor statement is monitoring all the four variables for the change of values and percent %b here means boolean value line 17 to line 21 are the five statements in which we are changing the input values after five units of time each this program is named as dflipflop.v now let's run this program iverilog space path of the program is given for compilation there is no error so let's see the output vvp a dot out is the statement used to see the output here we can see clearly that irrespective of the value of present state of qn the value of d is as it is passed to next state of qn clock has to be 1 if the value of d has to be passed if clock is 0 next state qn will be 0 now let's monitor the time wave 
gtk wave dff.vcd is the command here being used to see the time wave dff.vcd was the dump file we had saved in the program simulate is the module here obj was the object created these four wires will be responsible for monitoring the values at this instance we can see that if clock is 0 value of d is 0 and value capital N is 0 even if d was 1 here capital QN will be 0 because clock plays important role here at this instance clock is 1 so whatever the value of d will be it will be passed to the capital QN at this instance we can see that d equal to 1 qn is also 1 at this instance we can see that if clock is 1 irrespective of q small n equal to 1 the value of q capital N next state is only dependent on the value of t thank you for watching